personal opinion about this is that I think it was extremely over exaggerated because it for one like people are getting angry and so angry and we don't even know who did it and so people are getting angry at the school and protesting but who are you protesting to exactly and yes like it was a ter it was a terrible thing and but people make these jokes all the time and although it is terrible I don't find it a threat I don't think it was a crime although it was disgusting and wrong I don't think I think that like the whole protest I, I just I just think it was completely over exaggerated and unnecessary um, I have mixed emotions about it I feel like their reaction was reasonable to it but I feel like it was like a little like overdone because it wasn't violent, but I mean, it was on campus and people were like trying to relax. Like, I'm like totally like, I was, it was really bad what they wrote on it, but I feel like I don't want to get disturbed by you just trying to get your word out there. Like President Bradshaw put out his word, even though it was kind of late, but I mean, I don't, um, that's, that's really touchy because I don't want to offend anybody, so. <laughs> so I think it was really uncalled for that it was written and like, even if it may have been as kind of like a joke kind of thing, like it was, I don't know, I don't think it was right to have been done. And it is kind of concerning because like, what if it is serious, like, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Can I ask a follow-up, sorry? Um, <laughs> do you think it was blown up out of proportion? Or do you think it um, was handled in a good way? Oh yeah, it was blown out of proportion, I think a little bit. Just cause like, I'm, I'm almost certain that it was, it was probably a joke. But like, even then it's like, you can't just, write things off as a joke um but there was like a lot of just like protests and stuff like that it was just like a lot of stuff but i understand where it's coming from though so do you think the university was right to withhold all of this until like two weeks later um i mean i can understand why they wanted to think it over and make sure that was the right decision to tell uh the students um i'm not sure if it was the right call or not it probably would have been more ethical in in so many ways it's completely different but in other ways it's almost or nevertheless the same and like there are some people who still have the same views as they did before like that like it's how they grew up and this generation we try to to make people understand that things are different but then again like there are still people being called the n-word like on the whiteboard like with that just shows that racism still is here because that the fact that it's 2000 it's almost 2017 you're still using that word like come on like that that it's just it's it's still pretty bad it's still not resolved as resolved as we thought it would be think of racism like maybe 50 or 60 years ago compared to now do you think anything's changed i think it's changed in a sense that Obviously, we're not doing like the slavery anymore. Um, it's more like modern day racism, <laughs> like people using like vulgar terms. People use like social media. They like put like different things. Like they'll draw different pictures, like the whiteboard incident. Um, they don't think of their consequences usually, but like back then, it was like they knew what they were doing anyways. But now people don't even realize like some things that they say is racist, and they just don't think of it like being racist. Like so, I just think it's not as bad, but it's still. So how do you think racism compares to like 50 or 60 years ago to today's time? I mean, I definitely think racism has died down, but there's still a lot of remnants of it. I think not in terms of like how it was in the past, but definitely discrimination in terms of like, oh, like they are lesser people or something like that. Like they think of them differently. Not necessarily like, oh, you can't go into the bathroom because you're black or something like that. It's more like, okay, you're just a lesser person in general or something like that. Um, like more of a social kind of. Kind of what do you think is going to happen moving forward with the new president? Well, I mean, so I watched a video earlier and they're already burning American flags. So that just shows you that wasn't even different races. That was actually white people doing it too. So just think, since he didn't really have like the minorities vote, like a lot of them, if he really wants to deport them like back, it's going to be very now that Trump has been elected president, I feel like it might be kind of an open door and all of a sudden that like 
people will think it's acceptable to say all these racial slurs and be like, oh, man, like, it, it's fine if we're, like, Mexicans have to get out of the country. It's just a political issue and stuff like that. Like, we hate Mexicans. So, like, I think it just gives more justification to people who are racist um, and just incentivizes them.